Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install VMware Workstation Player on your Windows operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for VMware. And the first link which will appear here will be from VMware.com. So we are going to click on this uh, link. And when you click on this link, you will come to this page. Here you need to go to products. And then you will see this uh, option here which says workstation player. So we are going to click on this link. At the time of making this video, workstation player 17 is the latest version. So we are going to just click on download for free a button. And then we come to this next page. So here you can see uh, this VMware workstation player. And then you have this go to downloads link. So click on that. And then you have this VMware workstation player for Windows 64 bit operating system. So click on download button, which is going to start the download of VMware workstation player executable file. At the time of making this video, it's around 577 MB. So just wait for the download to complete. And once this executable file is downloaded, we are going to just click on this file and then click on remove protection and open, which is going to start the installer. Let me minimize this browser. And you can see uh, this installer has been started. So just wait for the next step. And now we can see that this VMware workstation player setup wizard has been started. At this point, click on next. And then you need to uh, just agree with the license terms and conditions. If you agree, just check this checkbox and then click on next. And then you have the custom setup. So here you can see add VMware workstation console tool into system path. We are going to leave it as it is. This will be the default location where VMware will be installed. And also you have the enhanced keyboard drivers. So I'm going to just check this checkbox also and then click on next. And then it says join the VMware customer experience improvement program and check the product update. So I'm going to uncheck this uh, second option and then click on next. And on the next uh, window, I can see the shortcuts. So it will create the desktop shortcut and start menu program folder. Click on next. And then it says ready to upgrade VMware workstation player. So it's going to check if you have the older version of VMware workstation player. And if you have, it's going to upgrade to the newer version. So just click on upgrade and then the installation will start. So just wait for the installation to finish. And once the installation is finished, you can see completed the VMware Workstation Player 17 setup. So I can just click on finish button. And then it says you must restart the system for the configuration changes made to VMware to take effect. So you need to restart your Windows operating system once uh, in order to fully use VMware Workstation Player. So if you want to do it, just click on yes. If you want to uh, manually restart, click on no. So I want to do it later. So I will click on no here. But make sure that before installing any virtual machine, you restart your Windows operating system. Now once it's installed, you will be able to see the VMware workstation under VMware here. So just search for VMware folder and then you have this VMware workstation player. So just click on it and it's going to start VMware workstation player. For the first time when you start VMware workstation player, it shows you this kind of warning. And here you can see two options. Use VMware workstation player for free for non-commercial use enter your license key for commercial use. So I don't want to use VMware Workstation Player for commercial use. So I will just leave it as uh, this option, which says use it for free for non-commercial use and then click on continue and then click on finish, which is going to start your VMware Workstation Player. So now you can uh, start uh, installing new virtual machines on VMware Workstation Player. You just need to click on create a new virtual machine. And if you have an ISO file of uh, any operating system, you can install it with 
VMware Workstation Player and use it virtually on your host operating system. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.